So Skeppy decided to derail Sunny V 2s video about him, which to give some context, Sunny V 2 is a YouTuber that documents other people's career. And then he makes one about Skeppy killing his own career and is practically irrelevant now, which is totally untrue by the way, he still pulls out millions of views per video. Now I really don't like how he is in this video, he could have just corrected some points of the video, but his tone seems kinda offended. Specific video clips chosen where I talk about certain topics, it really just tickled me the wrong way a little bit. It just sucks. Cause vital parts I would have wanted to have kept in just didn't make the cut and wasn't you. But of course, I think he's just a satirical bit. But at some point, his whole response is just unwatchable. It seems just like a little kid just crying that he got 9 McDonald's chicken nugget pieces instead of 10. Also, he just mocks Sunny V2 style content, which I don't get why. But I'm not gonna undermine his whole argument with his interesting approach. He makes stupid points like how Sunny V2 is an instant favor of cancel culture. Um, the people doing the canceling are very insignificant people who, to be quite frank, haven't achieved much of significance in their own lives. Oh? We have to look at context, relevancy, and intentionality. And that is one of the big issues has gone out the window in current PC culture climate. I completely agree, man. Let's look at the intentionality. What was your intention here? Well, let's see. All the when he's simply just documenting it. It's not like he's just the reason for for the downfall, it had already happened so that he just documents it and give the reason why they got cancelled. I don't think you can promote cancel culture to someone when all you're doing is simply just staying parts of your career on how you got cancelled. Skeppy then goes around Sonny's intention of documenting this video is like it isn't an obvious answer why is he documenting others careers. Also I don't really like how he goes on about Sunny potentially messaging him just so that Skeppy can correct some parts and make it his own Skeppy cut of the video. If you wanted to know the answers to these things, you could have messaged me you know. The intention about making a video on why my career is dying, which had false representations and unanswered questions, could have been answered you know. There were no ulterior motives here. Right? Is that it's not a good point since you only responded to Sonny after making his video about you. But what if he messaged you before making the video? There's a possibility that you ignore his message and he'll just make it anyway. You can't make a documentary of a leader of a country and then go to their Twitter to message them your entire script for your video about them. Like it doesn't make any sense. Also, I really hate how he still goes on about Sonny seeking Molly's attention to Skeppy. Like that's not what it is. That's what I hate the most. I really recommend checking this video out. Throw the f up, you massive attention. Seeking. Is it just me or is the bar getting lower and lower for getting cancelled? I, I don't know man. Then when the pizzas showed up to bad boy Halo's house, he'd only show three pizzas being opened. How do we know that he didn't only order three pizzas and sit them on top of a stack of empty boxes? Is it just me or is the bar getting lower? Where did the missing pizzas go? He's simply just documenting your whole career. But let's give him the benefit of a doubt. Sunny has most likely associate dying careers with low views, which doesn't seem fair as Skeppy stated himself that he used to upload 3 fucking videos a day. Upload as much as I used to. I used to not single or double, but triple upload oh, consistently. Wake up, record, sleep, repeat. That was my life. And I understand the feeling. I used to watch all your Dream SMP videos. And this video was a new editor. Completely different style. So I can't even lie. He's right. Maybe I have changed. Or maybe it was just you. And Sonny has to make things dramatic and over the top titles to interest the viewer. If he titles videos like the history of ex YouTuber, nobody would watch it except for the people that know that YouTuber. But if he titles the fall of ex YouTuber, it gives the viewer curious of why this YouTuber's career died. And he then dugs up Sonny's old videos, of course, to make it look bad for saying the F slur. Addressed it. I'm sorry. And if my apology wasn't good enough for you, well then I'm. Double sorry. I apologized in the past. I took down videos. Everyone can beat me down for all my horrific mistakes. But you, Sonny, what's your excuse? Shut the fuck up, fat. Why did you say that word? But you're criticizing me for it? That's not fair. But his points are good as well on how Sonny became the person he hated. He goes on about cancel culture and how they are overdramatic. When he does it to his own videos as well. Skeppy copying Mr. Beast events when Skeppy clearly made the concept first before Mr. Beast gaming even exists. It's a total copy of Mr. Beast. I have made Minecraft challenge videos before Mr. Beast gaming was a channel. Mr. Beast gaming ripoff. People before me have made Minecraft challenge videos. People after me will make Minecraft challenge videos. It's really not that deep. 
but just for Sonny, in case he's dying to know, before Mr. Beast actually started doing events, he called me and he said, hey, I'm making Minecraft events. Want to make a video together? Because I don't want people thinking I ripped you off. Those were his exact words. And Sonny finding an old forum post up an old winner at Escape event saying he got scammed and didn't got the prize winnings. Skeppy then pulls out the receipts. Contact, but have nothing. I have proof I won the event and gave the right information. Did I get scammed? Proof, literally just watch his building competition video. I won for the watermelon build. That's just so interesting. I mean, how could someone be dumb enough to upload a video advertising someone winning and then not pay them? I mean, maybe if they were an idiot like me. All right, all right, let me just take a look, okay? This post right here, where Sunny openly claims that I'm a scammer. scammer. The creator of the the post name is Zach's All. So I decided to look into it. You have no idea the amount of digging I had to do to get this screenshot, which was a list of all the winners in the event. Now Zach's Alt was one of the winners. And as you can see right here, they gave me their PayPal email. And funny enough, I searched through my transactions. There it was! The prize money of $100 of what was owed. He would also apologize to his close friends, including with A6D. And in my opinion, Skep is in the right here. Sunday's research wasn't entirely throughout and sometimes misleading and Skeppy's accusation of Sunny having a malicious stand I, well I did defend Sunny for it but really who knows we can't just read his mind so there is a possibility where he has actual malicious intent in his mind now my final words about this I feel like the both of them did a slip up Sunny didn't have a better research of Skeppy and he was kind of misleading but Skeppy's passionate rants at times make it unwatchable making it seem offended and some of his points just go nowhere overall this is just one hell of a ride and this drama will most likely die out if Sunny V2 doesn't make a response video in which he will, he will never make one since his content is more towards documenting drama and not being in drama so that's all for the big old drama Sunny made a big old goof Skeppy made a big old goof